Hello children, welcome to the second lecture of chapter number 9, Forest and Wildlife Resources of India. In the previous chapter, we had studied about the classification of the forest, classification in the ownership management, deforestation, impact of deforestation and related to the uh, remedies of the deforestation. So today we are going to study about the wildlife diversity of India. Now diversity means the variation. Diversity means the variation. There is a large diversity in climate and physiography of India. See, there is a variation in climate and physiography of India. Due to this geographical diversity, a large variation is seen into the insect, birds and animal vegetation. Due to this thing, see, due to the geographical diversity, there is also variation in the insect, birds and animals in animals and vegetation of different part of India. There are about 15 lakh species of animals and birds in the world. Okay? You will be surprised. There are 15 lakh species of animals and birds into the world. Out of this, 81,251 species are found into India. There is a very large number. Okay, 81,251 different kind of animals, birds and insect species are found into India. India stands 12th, see, the rank of India is 12th in the world in terms of biodiversity. If you see the variation, the difference, the variety of the animals, then India is 12th in the world. Animals from Asia, Europe and Africa are seen in India. Okay? Various animals which are from Asia, Europe and Africa are also seen into India. Let us see which are the African Zarak, okay? European Wolf, wild goat, Kashmiri deer, elephant, gibbons, gibbons are type of uh, monkeys, they are types of monkeys from South East Asia are found in here. Okay, so different kind of animals which are not the origin of India are also found into India. The biodiversity of India includes black bear, one-horned rhino. Now one-horned rhino is found into Assam. Okay, in Africa there is two-horned rhino found. While well, in India, one on rhinos are found. Deer, various kind of deers are found. Different type of snakes are found in into India. Peacock, corrad, hawk, kingfisher and flamingo etc. are also found into India. And they are, you can say, the original uh, animals of India. The snow leopard in Himalaya and red panda are found in the same multitude and distinguished animal okay, the snow leopard and red panda we are going to see the photograph of red panda further let us see okay, red panda this is the photograph of red panda is also seen into the himalayas they are seen into himalayas currently india is the only country this needs to be remembered Currently, India is the only country in the world where tigers and lions are found in nature labor. See, now tigers, there are eight species of tigers into the world and tigers is found into various countries of the world. While lions are found into mainly Africa and India. But India is the only country in the world which has tigers and lions into the natural abode, into the natural living. During winter, migratory birds from distant places through watershed in Giyal Dev National Park, Bharatpur and Nalsarora spent winter. See, migratory birds, such kind of birds which come from very cold areas like Siberia and Arctic areas. And they come, they cross a lot of countries and travel distance of thousands of kilometers and come to Kiol Dev National Park, Bharatpur Sanctuary and Nalsaro in Gujarat to spend their winters. Why they come? Because the winters in those countries way are very very severe. Okay, So they come here for breeding and to pass their winters. Sea turtle come to lay eggs along the sandy coast of Odisha. See, sea turtles are there which come and lay eggs on the sandy coast of Odisha. Indian python is a type of a snake. And other various snakes like king cobra are found in south rain forest. Now king cobra you might be knowing king cobra is one of the poisonous one of the most poisonous snakes of the world and is also one of the most largest snakes of the world and they are found into rain forest of India. 
Now wildlife on extinction. Okay, in India there are certain wildlife which are on the verge of extinction. Okay, now why they are on the verge of the extinction? Let us see. Today many wildlife in the world are on the verge of extinction. Tigers were found throughout India in the last century. Okay, in the last century there were tigers found into whole of India, but that is not the case right now. Why they are not found right now into whole of India? Because they had been poached, they had been killed illegally during the last centuries. Our kings and the Britisher who were ruling into India, they had killed uh, tigers and lions to a large extent for their hobbies. Okay, you can see the photograph here of the hunting. It was from the past. See, tigers were seen into forest of Eder, Ambaji and Danta. Okay, so previously the tigers were seen into Eder, forest of Eder, Ambaji and Danta. But right now they are not seen anywhere near. Today tigers are totally extinct from Gujarat. See, today tigers are not found anywhere into Gujarat in natural, in natural habitat. Chitta is also becoming extinct. So now they are not found in the forest of Gujarat anymore. Chitta also become extinct from Indian forest. See, Chitta, which is also one of the main animals of India, is now not available into Indian forest, and that is due to the hunting that has been done into last century. Many bird species, which were easily seen in Indian forest, are now hardly seen. See. Even the birds are now becoming extinct from the forest of India. Some of them like vultures, duck and pink throat cranes and owls are on the verge of extinction. Vultures. Okay, vultures are on the extinction due to a very specific reason. Vultures are the, you can say they are the meat eaters. They are car, <coughs> right? They were scavengers. They eat the dead bodies. Now, what is happening in modern times that the farmers and they use lot of medicines for their milk animals to increase the production of the milk and due to that what happens is when the animals are when the animal die and the vulture eat it the medicine which is given to the animal also goes into the vulture's body and that is harmful for the vulture which is decreasing the population of vulture to a great extent. Chiltaro bird once widespread in Arunachal or northeast is not seen easily now. Chiltaro which was one of the common birds into Arunachal Pradesh and northeast is now not seen. Even like you can take example of sparrow which was a very common bird previously is not seen now in most part of uh, India. There is danger of survival for the alligators. Alligators are type of crocodiles. For the fresh waters of rivers and river Ganga dolphin. Okay, alligators which are found into the rivers of India and Ganga river dolphins which are found into the fresh water Ganga are now not seen. Why they are not seen? Due to the pollution and due to the hunting which is done on a large scale. The number of sea turtles approaching the coast of Odisha and Gujarat is constantly decreasing. See, the turtles which are coming to lay eggs on the coast of Odisha and Gujarat are also decreasing a lot. Waterfalls, that is Jalbilari, once found frequently in Narmada, Tapi, Mahi and Sabarmati river, Gujarat is almost extinct. See, which is Narmada, Tapi, Mahi and Sabarmati river, which is almost extinct now, Jalbilari, which was found previously. A long time, uh, sorry, a time has come for us to think about this seriously. If we will not think about this seriously, then there are all reasons, then there are all uh, problems that are going to be faced by us in a near future. Now we are going to see about the reasons of destruction of forest. Why do the wildlife is destroyed? Why is the wildlife destroyed? That we are going to see the reasons for the destruction of forest. Due to the human interference in grasslands and in watershed areas of forest, the natural habitat of wildlife is put into danger. See, due to the human interference, human being is interfering by cutting trees, by settling into the forest and by growing of lot of industries near the forest, 
the natural housing the natural forest area is being destroyed destruction of forest is the main reason responsible for natural imbalance what is the main reason then the destruction of forest is the main reason for the imbalance which is created okay now there is a chain there is a chain like nature animal and human being all are connected so if human being destroys animals and the forest it will ultimately disturb the chain so destruction of the forest is a main reason for the for the destruction of the wildlife its final impact is reduction in the animals of the number of the animals and due to this the number of the animals also is decreased to a larger extent hunting the animal to obtain their hair see now why hunting is done to obtain the hair skin bone horns and nails is also responsible now hunting in india is illegal but still there are a lot of people who are involved in such kind of occupation and they are selling all these things into foreign market into the illegal market at a very very high rate and that's why poor animals are killed and uh, some of the parts of their body like hair skin bones are cut off and they are sold into the illegal market the over exploitation of forest made by man for his greedy motives such as road multi purpose projects mining mineral expansion of new settlements of city etc displace the wild animals See, due to this all it happens the over exploitation of forest made by man and his greedy motives such as roads okay whenever roads are being made through the forest then multi purpose projects okay when multi purpose projects are made mining in minerals expansion of new settlement this all are reasons of the destruction of the forest due to this the forests are destroyed to a large extent which ultimately leads to the destruction of the wildlife forest lands are being encroached by grass fuel for grazing see forest land are taken off by human being for grass fuel and grazing the forest fire engulfs many species when the forest fire occurs at the time of rearing of young animals of the birds and hatching of the eggs it create negative impact see now forest fires as i already told you in the starting of this video lecture forest fire are the main reasons for the destruction of the forest now forest fire are usually okay there are two main reasons for forest fire one is natural like striking of the lightning or due to rubbing of two trees into the rice season these are the natural reasons one of the other reason is man made like throwing off bd or throwing off match stick into the forest or intentionally that is man made so forest fire man made or natural is a very very dangerous thing for the wildlife and for the trees into the forest and forest fire which occurs during the time of the rearing season during the time of young rearing season and during the hatching season creates a lot of impact as it destroys a lot of animals and birds recently only in australia there were fire, fire forest fires and in that lakhs of animals kangaroos and different kind of animals and birds were burned alive due to the forest fire as they could not run away anywhere so forest fire are one of the main reasons of it due to the loss of the natural habitat many animals without any abort can come into conflict with man and sometimes even lose their life see this happens as their natural habitat is being destroyed so they come to the cities in search of food and shelter and due to that they come into conflict with man and many a times there are instances when they lose the life because men think that animals are a danger to their lives hunting to procure bio medicine or things make perfumes also bring species of animal into world see hunting as i already told you is one of the main reasons at the same time why hunting is done to get bio medicines to get certain parts of the animal bodies for use for medicines so animal are killed for the bio medicine and the perfume right so we saw that the animals main reasons for the destruction of animal are human interference in the grassland destruction of the forest hunting of the animals then over exploitation of the forest then grazing forest lands are encroached for grazing and grass due to the 
conflict with human being and hunting for biomedicine and perfume due to all these reasons due to all these reasons animals are into a great danger and due to that they are killed on a large extent which leads to the decreasing population of animals into india now if you see then behind this man is the main responsible person who does all this thing hunting then destroying of the forest then killing of the animals all is done by men and due to it men is the main reason for it now we are going to see about red panda red panda is found into cold forest of eastern himalaya his food is bamboo shrouds eggs small birds insects etc it is less active during day so during day it is very very less active but it is active at night in the and during the night time beside india is also found in china nepal bhutan and myanmar see it is also found in this particular countries apart from india